Thank you, viewers. Uh, this lesson is intended uh, for KCSE students. Uh, according to the requests I've received, um, students have uh, invited me to explain to them uh, about relative speed in Form 2. This is a chapter uh, in Form 2, talking about linear motion, probably the last part of that particular chapter. So I want to discuss relative speed today. And uh, relative speed is a question that comes and every time it carries a lot of marks. If you understand it, then you can count that in the section B, you can carry or you can walk away with clean 10 marks. I want to tell you that um, we have terms that we really need to understand before I move on. First is that when you are looking at this particular area relative speed, we have to talk about moving bodies. Relative speed. One, we have, we have moving bodies. There could be objects. A car is a moving body or objects. These objects may move at different speeds. One may be moving faster than the other. That is one thing we have to understand in this particular uh, case. Another thing is that these uh, objects may move towards each other or towards the same direction. That is another point, and I've said it could move towards opposite directions or towards the same direction. That is one thing uh, uh, that we have to understand. Sec another thing that we're supposed to, to understand in this particular area is that um, if one object is moving, uh, the, the, objects, the two objects are moving to opposite, opposite each other, there's what we call the distance between them. If I have object A or object B, this is point Q, point P. If object A is moving towards P, point Q and object B is what, what, moving towards uh, point P, there is what we call the distance between them, between the, between the moving bodies. We call that one relative distance. Relative distance is the distance between two moving objects. Relative distance. So the relative distance, the distance between two moving objects. Uh, it, they could be more moving towards the same direction or moving towards opposite directions. That is very important. Then we have relative time. Relative time. Relative time is the time taken by two moving objects or bodies to, to either meet each other or catch up with one another. Because I've said these objects may move on towards the same direction or they may move on towards each other. So if they are moving towards each other, they'll take some time before they meet. If they are moving towards the same direction, the one behind will take some time before it can catch up with the one ahead. That one is called relative time. The time taken for them to meet is called relative time. Then we have what we call relative speed. Relative speed. Relative speed is the same as the, is, is the rate at which the distance between these two objects is uh, uh, diminishing. Because I've said whether they are moving towards each other, the, the distance is bigger at the start, but it will reduce until they meet. If they are moving towards the same direction, the one behind is moving at a faster speed, it will reduce the speed between them until one time they come together. together. That's what we call relative speed. So this is the speed at which uh, the moving objects uh, 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 cover the distance between them. So we have relative distance, relative time, relative speed. So we can create a formula. What is relative speed? Relative speed, I'll use it, RS equals to relative distance, RD, over relative time, RT. This is very key, and that's very key. It's the same as the formula of, of speed is equal to distance over time. But now we are giving it names to be able to understand. Uh, something here. I want us to move very quickly to start example one. And view, I'm only going to give two examples. One about objects that are moving towards each other, and another example about objects that are moving um, uh, towards the same direction. And in this particular case here, I want to give an example of two towns, town A and town B. Town A is here, 
and town B is there. It's very important that when you are going to sit for your examination, please make sure you do a sketch before you start. It's very important that you do a sketch before you start because a sketch will be able to guide you. I have two towns, town A and town B. Then the moving object that I'm going to use here, I will have a bus. All of us know that buses move slower and then we have a matatu. Matatu uh, chopper. If you are doing cases, you know what choppers are. You know they are very fast. If you have to, I don't know how that's how we write chopper, but let me use that word, particular word there. Chopper to mean uh, an helicopter, I don't know. Sorry. Now, if we have, this bus is moving towards this direction, and I'll show that arrow. The matatu is moving towards this particular direction. I want to give more information here that the bus here is moving at um, 80 kilometers per hour. And the matatu here is moving at 120 kilometers per hour. That's very fast. I don't think the government allows that. That's very fast. Now, 80, 120. Then the distance between town A and town B is 500 kilometers. We are giving more information. We have the distance between town A and B. We have the bus and its speed. We have the matatu and its speed. Matatu is coming from town A, coming towards town, town B, coming towards town A. Bus is coming from town A, going to town B. The last information we have here is the time when the bus, the bus is starting the journey earlier. So the bus here is starting at 8 a.m. in the morning. So the bus has started the journey at 8 a.m. in the morning, but the matatu is starting at 8.30, 8.30 a.m. Now, we understand that the one thing we are understanding is that the matatu is starting the journey after the bus has covered a distance. The difference in the times is 8 minus 8.30 will give us the time taken uh, by the bus when the matatu is still at the stage. So we have to look for that time taken, time taken by the bus, by the bus before matatu departs. That time taken by the bus before matatu departs it's very important for you as a student to be able to explain to the examiner what you are doing in every stage. Why? Because it's very important for the examiner to know. Sometimes examiners don't want to, to, to struggle looking for where you are, what you are trying to do. It's very important that you put everything they want uh, at, at, at their face so that they don't have to struggle. In that case, you can gain, gain more marks easily. So this time, we know time is given by, this time we can subtract really, is simply 8.30 a.m. minus 8.00. This one, if you subtract this one, we are going to get 30 minutes. So the bus has traveled for 30 minutes. Viewer, 30 minutes is the same as a half an hour. So we can say that uh, the bus has also traveled for a half an hour. So. This half an hour, we want to know, this time here, 30 minutes, how far did the bus go before Matatu begins the journey? Because Matatu is still on the stage there, is waiting until 8.30. And this 8.30, the bus has gone some distance. So we want to know the distance covered. Dis distance covered, covered in 30 minutes. Covered in 30 minutes. What's the distance covered in this 30 minutes? or we have said 30 minutes the same as a half, an hour. In these 30 minutes, we have to get the distance, and distance, viewer, is the same as uh, speed, speed times time. This is mathematics, you know, formula, you know, times time. So the distance covered by the, the matatu is, uh, uh, by the bus before matatu begins the journey is dista, speed times time. Speed of what? Speed of the bus, and speed of the bus is 80, kilometers times uh, per hour times 
time is one half an hour. Half an hour. That one will be 40. That will be 40 kilometers. So in 30 minutes, viewer, by the time the Matatu is beginning the journey, I want to indicate that the bus is somewhere here. The bus has covered 40 kilometers. The bus has covered 40 kilometers by the time the Matatu is starting. Now, we were, if the Matatu is starting uh, at 8.30 when the bus has covered 40 kilometers, what is the relative distance? The relative distance is the distance between two moving objects. By the time the, Matatu, the bus was covering 40 kilometers, Matatu was not moving, so and therefore 40 kilometers do not make part of the relative distance. The relative distance will therefore be 40 kilometers minus 500 kilometers, which will give us, uh, let, let's do the math. Don't assume you know by calculating from your head, so I want you to do, take a calculator, and let's go. Minus 40, that is 460. So the distance here is 460. So this 460 kilometers is our relative distance. This is now our relative distance. We have got one thing. You remember I talked about relative distance by the time we were beginning. Now, we have another thing to look for. We have to look for relative speed. For us to get to look for relative speed, we need to add the speed of the bus plus the speed of the matatu. And you have to take to, know, to note this point very carefully that when objects are moving towards each other, for us to be able to calculate the relative speeds, we add the, the speeds of the moving objects. In this case, we have a relative speed will be the speed of the bus, which is 80 kilometers, plus the relative speed or the speed of the matatu, which is 120 kilometers. And that, if you add the two, will give us 200 kilometers per hour. So we were, if I move forward, I'll be able to now use, if I want relative time, I'll get relative uh, distance over relative speed. And relative speed, um, relative speed that we have is 200. Relative distance we already obtained here, which is 460. So I'll say that relatives, relative time is equals to relative distance over relative uh, speed. That one is 460 divided by 200. If I calculate that one, what's the time? Uh, 460 divided by 406 divided by 200. That is 2.3 hours. 2.3 hours. That's the time. That's the time taken for this particular uh, object. That's the matatu and the bus to meet each other. Now. That's the time. That's one of the questions we are going to be asked in examination, to be able to calculate the time when the two moving objects meet. That's very common. That question you can't avoid. So in our case here, it is going to be two and a third hours. Two and a third hours, we can be able to convert two and a third hours into, without using decimals, and that will be uh, 18 minutes. So I can say that um, uh, this can be two hours and 18 minutes. So it will take two hours and 18 minutes to meet. Uh, that is one case. Another question you can meet in this particular exam example is that uh, how far from town A did um, uh, the Matatu meet the bus? How far from town A? How far from town A means from here. How far did the Matatu, how far from A did the Matatu, where did they meet? That you can be asked from town B, you can be asked from town A. I will give an example of town A and finally also give an example of town B. Town A, we know that the Matatu has covered some 40 kilometers. That is 30 minutes. After covering, covering 40, 40 kilometers, the bus traveled another two hours, 18 minutes to meet the Matatu. So I can use this time here, multiply with the speed of the bus, which is 80 kilometers per hour. The distance I get I will add to 40 kilometers. That will tell me how far from town A this particular moving objects met. And so now I have the speed, the speed of the bus, because the bus come, is coming from, from, uh, from town A. The speed is 80 kilometers per hour. The time 
taken by the bus to meet the Matatu is here. This time is for both the Matatu and the bus. Uh, that is two hours, 18 minutes, which we say that is the same as 2.3 hours. So if I need to know the distance covered from, from 8.30 in the morning to the time where, to where they were met, I'll say distance equals to speed times time. And distance uh, speed is 80. Eh? Time taken here is 2.3. If I try to multiply that very quickly, I'll get 2.3 times 80. Eh? That is 184, 184 kilometers. So I can say that uh, at, after 8.30 in the morning, the bus traveled another 184 kilometers to meet the Matatu. But remember, this distance is not from town A. It is from the time uh, 8.30 in the morning. So for us to be able to calculate the total distance from town A to where they met, I'll now add 40 kilometers. And this 40 kilometers uh, will now say the total distance from town A will now be 184 kilometers plus 40 kilometers, and if I add that one, I will get uh, 224. That is 224 kilometers from town A. So I can now say that uh, the, 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 the Matatu met the bus for 224 kilometers from town A. Alternatively, viewers, students have different approaches of doing mathematics. We can be able to add the time. We take two hours, 18 minutes, 2 hours, 18 minutes, or 2.3 minutes, or hours, plus the time the, the bus traveled alone, that will be 30 minutes, that is 0 0.5 hours. If I add that one, I will get 2.8 hours. This is the distance the bus traveled from town A to the point where they met. So if I have that particular time, I can now therefore say that a distance is equal to time times speed, and the time is 2.8 time speed here is 80 kilometers. If we do more that math, we should be able to get the answer equivalent to what we had in the first approach, that is uh, 2.8, 80 times 2.8 is 224 kilometers. Viewers, math has no one direct approach. All approaches used correctly will earn you marks in examination. Getting the distance um, from town B is still easy. Start from town A, move, and then subtract. That's another approach. So a second approach could be just calculate the time. The time the matter to travel is 2 hours 18 minutes, which is the same as 2.3 hours. The speed of the matter to is 120. So that one is very simple. You just take 2.3 times 120 we get 276 kilometers. This is the distance covered by the Matatu from town B to the point where they met. You can actually see that the Matatu still covered a bigger distance than the bus, despite the bus starting early. Why? Because the bus is moving slowly. So it can cover, it covers distance very, very slowly. If you want to use this approach of from B to, use, to get the answer that I asked initially, you just take this one, subtract, uh, 500. So if you take 500 minus the answer we got there is 224. So viewers, mathematics has different approaches and you can use any approach and you do it correctly, you will be able to uh, surely score the marks that you need. Thank you very much and uh, welcome. Next time we are going to look at objects that move to us uh, in the same way.